welcome to my podcast. We're here today with, tell me your name again? Stephen Hilton. Ah, yes. So let's get right the hell to it. Okay. So you sent me yes. a new creation that you've been going on about. Mm-hmm. Non-stop. Yeah. Special interest. Style. I have. Well, it's more than a special interest because it's it's been the most effective thing I've ever worked on for myself. Which is saying a lot. Mm-hmm. This is called a theta wave meditation, yeah, right? It's it's a piece of music and a theta wave binaural beats meditation fused together. Well, whatever the hell it is, is truly magical. Thank you. You sent it to me yesterday. Yeah. And I was in a really bad mood. Mm-hmm. I was really low and sad and just anxious, creatively blocked, you name it. Mm-hmm. And then you sent it to me and I laid down. I put a heavy blanket on and I laid down and I listened to this and I was smiling like this. <laughs> That's what the theta wave. I was like this. Yeah. Why? Because theta wave basically induces the state of daydreaming, which is where creativity can come from as well as relaxation so you you sink down into daydreaming relaxation but also the daydream state which is creativity i want to say happiness too yes for me yes when i'm in that state i'm happier because i'm like i'm not thinking about earthly things takes you out of the earthly domain i think holy shit Mm -hmm. because when i said to you i was like what's the intention behind this meditation what are what are these sounds supposed to do and you're like just be present with listen to the sounds and just be present yeah and see what comes Mm -hmm. up for you yeah and so i did i i didn't have any expectations you know me i'm a big manifester and i like to visualize and things like that and so i didn't know what these sounds were going to do but immediately it just kind of it was like whatever you did sort of cleansed my brain yes and then i think you nailed it with the daydreaming it felt like my brain's being cleansed and then all of a sudden i go into this daydreaming and for me i had this um script that i was working on that i felt blocked around and all of a sudden the scene started coming right my fear around my work sort of dissipated yeah and instead i could visualize exactly what i wanted the scene to be so i think like if you're an artist of any kind or a creative person Mm -hmm. or honestly a problem solver in general listening to that meditation clears your head and then allows you to like problem solve when you sleep your brain sorts all your life out when you go to sleep when you dream your brain puts things into compartments i believe when you could daydream the same thing happens so that would make sense for what i'm trying to do with the theta waves which is you got you were in the real world stress anxiety yeah. and then it locked you out of the real world for yeah. a second into the daydream state and then your brain was able to compartmentalize and solve problems and then on top of me solving problems i experienced what Eckhart Tolle believes is our natural state which is bliss wow that's great his whole theory is that you can only attain bliss through being totally present mm-hmm. and your meditation got me there to yeah. where I was fully present in the moment. And I think that's why I had that goofy smile. Yeah. And then I sort of stepped outside myself out and I go, why are you smiling so big? I think that all the binaural beats stuff, no matter what theta, beta, alpha, whatever ones you're doing, and they all just are different frequencies that do different things in your brain. I think they all lock you into the now though, because you are just zoned in on this left right stimulation if you close your eyes this this stimulation should take you out of normal life it does with me it's so powerful so like what makes your theta wave meditation different from other people who are doing the same thing similar thing two things the main one is the solfigo frequencies and i hope i'm saying that right you're saying it right am i really solfigo yeah That's another meditation technique. A lot of people tune into those frequencies. They are really into that specific um, frequency in Hertz. That's another meditation technique. So I've written a piece of music that's in that frequency and it comes in and out of the binaural beats. So you've got theta waves and you've got the solfigo frequencies and they're colliding and then they're coming apart. And I spent weeks on this, like where they come in and where they go out and where they come in and where they go out. 
By the way, it's, you should listen on headphones. Oh, yeah. I definitely listen on headphones. Yeah. Here's a really good, I'm going to say this word, testament. Yeah, testament. Okay. Testy. Yeah. Testament. Okay. Um, I always feel like I say that word wrong. I say words wrong, don't I? Yes. And Stephen always corrects me when I say words wrong. So Not now, anymore. Now I'm self-conscious around I don't do it anymore. Words. That's because we don't live together anymore. If we live together, you'd definitely be correcting me. Well, it's a good job we don't then, Testaments. <laughs> what? What other words did I say wrong? Um, camouflage. I thought it was camouflage. Yeah. That's making me sad to think about that. Can we talk about something else? Yes. Yes. Yesterday when I tried the meditation for the first time, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I got a call and I was interrupted about 10 minutes in. And normally if that happens, I then go, ah, I got the phone call moving on with my life. But I got the phone call, I took care of business and then I went right back into the meditation because I felt so good doing it. Yeah. So that was a big testament yeah. to your meditation. Yeah. So powerful. And then even today before I came over to do this podcast, I was like, I want to do it again before. Yeah. And I did it and it was so amazing and so powerful. Like I want to do this meditation every morning. And I've been a big like guided meditation person because I always thought it's hard to shut my brain off. So let me Google a guided meditation of someone talking, telling me to breathe in and breathe out and telling me what to visualize and telling me to relax. That's what I thought I needed. But your meditation doesn't have any of that. Yet I was able to be present. And it's not like my brain didn't go somewhere and then come back. But it's still induced all the, those really good, feel good. Oh my God, wait. I came over and you were like, what are you so happy about? Yeah, right. And maybe were, it was that. You were like annoyed that I was happy. Uh, yeah, I was because I like everything that's going on. But it's your fault that I'm happy because you just sent me that meditation and I just did it before I came over. And that's that good. really did raise my vibrations. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. And the reason I don't like guided meditations is they're telling you where you need to be. Because yeah. you might not want to go to a lake. You might want to go and visit a bird sanctuary and find out why you've got issues with your mom. I don't know. You may not want to go to a mountain, but your subconscious knows where you're supposed to go. And that's something I learned from EMDR. Ooh. The reason that I started this whole thing, I was obviously experimenting with binaural beats with the music. But when I did EMDR and my therapist said, your brain knows the answer to what everything and your brain knows what you need to look at and how to solve it. Whoa. And I was like, how does that happen? And she goes, tapping like this is the first bit. And I was like, whoa, wait, left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes, she said. And I'm like, that's binaural beats, the same thing. Holy shit. So something about left, right stimulation makes your brain, tells your brain to go off and solve shit whoa I, it does it does because what happened i was able to problem solve during that meditation yes. and get clarity yeah. but i love what you said about how you know those guided meditations they're like imagine you're in an enchanted forest yes. with birds and, and a creek yeah streaming by and i don't know if this is trauma or what but every time it tells me to like go to a forest i'm like fuck there's a bear i know there's a bear and yeah. it's gonna eat me <laughs> and then it'll be like go to the ocean and i'm like there's fucking sharks for sure yeah i'm gonna get bit by a crab yeah. i know it like yeah. my brain whenever it tells me to go to some big field i'm like there's definitely a snake but really like that's where my head goes during yeah. these guided meditations yeah so i actually don't like when they tell me to go to some especially some like wild place because yeah. i don't know i always think about the danger yeah. in those places and how does the person doing the guided meditation know what you need only you they, know what you need it's so true so just a little bit of uh, history about binaural beats the woman that invented it was a psychiatrist i believe this is true she was a psychiatrist and she got diagnosed with terminal cancer and she was devastated, obviously. She was given like a year to live. And she left the hospital and she lived across the way from the hospital and she walked home. And when she got home, she noticed a big difference in her anxiety about what happened. Then she got really anxious again. Mm -hmm. In the morning, she walked from her house to the hospital, mm -hmm. same thing, big difference in her anxiety level. And as a psychiatrist, she's like, what's going on? So she started to observe her walk. She's like, something's happening on the walk. Yeah. And she noticed that when she's walking, she looks up. She looked up. That's how she walked to the park. She would like look up at the trees. And the trees were planted left, right, left, right at a certain distance. But they weren't in line. Yeah. So her eyes were going left, right, 
left, right, same thing. Okay. Left, right stimulation. I believe that left, right stimulation causes deep relaxation, no matter what frequency. But that's visual, what you just explained. Yeah, but it's still the left side of your brain, right side of the brain being, because this is, Stimulated. this is, yeah, this isn't sound either. Well, this it is, is sound. It works with sight and it works with touch and it works, I think, a, the best way with music. Well, so that's another unique element of yours is that you incorporate music within, yeah. which is what I loved in that meditation was all of a sudden this beautiful music came in yes. and then it came back out and then it comes in again, yeah. right? Yeah, I put the binaural beats and then I put the music in yeah. and then loads just binaural beats after. And then I listened to it myself and I was like, that's where I want to hear it again. That's where I want to hear it again. That's where I wanted to hear it again. And that's where I put it in. Well, it's absolutely perfect. And I'm so proud of you. Thank for you. That. It's like my favorite thing you've ever done. Wow. And you've done a lot of things. I have. If you're at all interested in, you know, enhancing your creativity, decreasing your anxiety and stress levels, and just getting into like a happy, blissful, present state, like who's going to be like, no, thanks. I'm good on that. But if you want that, I strongly suggest you give this meditation it's 20 minutes but the beauty is too if you only have 10 minutes just listen to 10 minutes oh yeah because before i was like i'm gonna listen to five minutes because i'm busy and i ended up listening to like 10 or 15 yeah so give it a try it may just change your life yeah thank you for saying that i mean a lot of people were like because i've been talking about this because basically go to his youtube to yes to watch it link in you could put a link down if you want everyone was like whenever is a creator drops something it's always like money let's always have to put my hand in my pocket a lot of people have been like what is this is it an app is it a merch or whatever and it's not it's completely free completely free that's how much he believes in it he just wants everyone to experience it and see for themselves now eventually it makes sense for you to charge something down the road i'm gonna have to because you gotta pay the damn bills pay for this place (laughs) but for now give it away while you can who who said was it like give give ask or something oh yeah i've heard of that who is that you said know. that give give ask tony Ross. <laughs> maybe it was tony r tony r what else well there's been a big flood downstairs today oh god my whole entire recording studio flooded for the second no. time this week second yeah. time in two weeks but it was way worse today way worse do things nothing's been damaged yet but really? me and my dad have been down there for since nine this morning pump like soaking up water and putting it in buckets and soaking up water and putting it in buckets so and my mum was there as well drying the towels no. we were all in the, we were all trying to st- stop the flood but this that's morning. kind of a cute family bonding it was experience. that's what i said i said it was at least we bonded over something and how do you feel that your visit with your parents i'm, I'm gonna be sad to see them go now we had a great time after my jailbird experience it forced us to talk about some things that were i hadn't talked about that were hard to talk about but we talked about it and then we had a big group cuddle afterwards and it's been amazing since then really Mm -hmm. so you feel like you had a big breakthrough breakthrough yes the word yeah wow that's um that's really amazing yeah it's not amazing that you went to jail no i know but that's all in the past 2023 is going to be good 2023 well i was going to say it's been amazing it was amazing until this flood but that's just the thing that happens. Yeah, exactly. You can't stop a flood. No, I mean, you can with the proper machinery. <laughs> you can't stop a flood with the proper machinery. Yeah, you can. How? You got to just put the machinery down. <laughs> the anti-flood machinery. Yeah, you could try that. There's got to be some sort of machinery. <laughs> Yeah, maybe there is. I bought 20 towels from uh, Target today. I'm not today. talking about towels. 20. Even. They're all soaking wet now. <laughs> 20. But you need more than towels. We tried sandbags Water. and it was just going through the sandbags. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm going to call Poppy sandbag. Oh, is it, well, even sandbags is even better. Call her plural. Oh, <laughs> She is extra sandbaggy today, I got to say. What, is, what do you mean? I said, where's grandma? She goes, grandma. And then I was like, and where's grandpa? And she's like, Gapa. No. Yeah. She says Gamma and Gampa. Gapa. 
today yes when she saw them oh they were their hearts were melted oh my god she says grandma and grandpa because she wasn't well yesterday no so i was worried much better today so alfie today my mum and dad took him to school how was that and my mum stayed in the car uh, because she's got ms but my dad came out and it was raining and we i picked him up and we ran across the road because we were a little bit late Uh and i put him down on the sidewalk and my dad was still over the road and he goes come on grandpa (laughs) come here sorry come here grandpa yeah. Now, did he say, come here, grandpa, or come here, granddad? It might well, He be calls granddad. them both. Sometimes he's very soft. It's hard to say what he's saying. Your dad is definitely granddad. Granddad. He does call him granddad. But, Juice, please, granddad. And then your mom gets, mangoes, please, grandma. Yeah. Oh, it's so sweet. Well, they should come out daffo in the summer. Yeah. And just like live in the pool and swim I would love with. that. I'd yeah. love that. Tell him to book it, you know? Oh, really? Yes, really. It's so important for them to be close. I know. I think so. Are you okay? I feel all right. Good. Not great. I know. Well, I came over in a good mood because I had just done your meditation. That's really good news. Stephen's like, what are you so bloody happy about? Yeah, because it's supposed to be like a a sad time. (laughs) Maybe I need to do my meditation. I haven't done it for a while. Do your meditation. Yeah. Because I've been really mood swings and depressed or anxious. All the things. That's an expression. All the things. All the things. This, these, are the, these are the expressions. That, that, that. All the things. All the feels. Bestie. I'm basically a Gen Z now. <laughs> these are millennial phrases, are they? Oh, millennial maybe. Is live, laugh, love a millennial thing? No, live, that's laugh, not. Live, laugh, love is like a chuggy thing, which is a specific... Um, type of millennial <laughs> yeah i would like to say that i am not chuggy you're not chuggy no i have chuggy elements i gotta <laughs> say i don't wear the massive fedora <laughs> i don't take fall photo shoots i don't drink pumpkin spice lattes i don't shop mm. at home goods no but i do do affirmations chuggy is that chug? i think it's a little chuggy i thought you did uh cosmorations cosmopolitans cosmo cosmos Cosmopolitans? Not affirmations. Uh, ac- Incantations. No, 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 no. You said I've changed it the other day. You said I don't do affirmations. I do. Oh, I said I don't do the law of attraction. I do the law of assumptions. Assumptions. That's maybe not chuggy, but it could be a little delusional. Right. Oh, my God. I saw some TikTok video that made me feel. No. Cool. You saw a TikTok video? I don't watch TV. It's my only source of entertainment. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's the best form of entertainment. Follow me on TikTok if you haven't. Follow me on TikTok. It's a train wreck. Steven does dance challenges (laughs) now only. He's still doing the Renegade, which is like so 2020. Wait. (laughs) Actually, I have a couple challenges I want to do tomorrow. You said you wanted us to do a couple of challenges and nothing ever came. Well, I'm down. I'm literally down to do them. I had a couple dance things I thought we could kill, but it just didn't happen. But I'm, I'm, you know where I live. I'm not allowed in it, but I mean, live. (laughs) I definitely. My house has fallen apart since I left. The gate doesn't work. There's no water. The uh, coffee machine broke. (laughs) The shower Uh, broke. The shower broke. Wait. What else? Everything. Nothing fucking works. Okay. I've noticed that it does look like a homeless person's house now. That's when not When you go up true. to the front door, it's full of junk. There's Where? Like, it's like the literal guy Where? who lived opposite us at Laurel Canyon. There's brooms and a sh- one shoe and a big of old rubbish and a diapers. and a, That would never have happened on my watch. <gasps> Well, I have to take out all the trash now. Oh, wow. Well, so I take it out halfway outside and then I eventually get to the trash can. Hmm. So anyway, TikTok. So I saw this video and it was this girl with like blue hair. And she oh. was basically saying that the law of it, people who believe in the law of attraction are ableist, like racist and homophobic. It was like basically you're the devil if you believe in right. the law of attraction or I the saw, law of assumption. Right. But I saw one saying, but it made me feel really shitty because I like I talk about it and I was like, oh my god, like is this just my white privilege showing? But then I know a lot of black creators who love the law of attraction and law of assumption yeah, and, I know you, and well, preach it. Yeah. But it, it just made me feel really shit about it. And I was trying to hear her out around why she she thinks that. Um, but I think, you know, for me, 
it's just as simple as focusing on what you want rather than what you don't want. Just spending your days visualizing what you want rather than what you don't want. So screw the whole quantum physics angle or vibrations if you don't believe in Vibrator. any of that. Vibrators. Don't screw that. Well, screw. Well, what? Yeah. I saw a TikTok of a woman saying that if you say someone's overweight, you're racist. TikTok can be How? very it can be very woke on if there. If you say someone is overweight, but you're on woke talk, you're then. racist. Well, you're weightist. She said racist. Are you sure she didn't yes, say weightist? No, she said it's racist because it was a white ideal to. She said oh, it's oh. a white ideal to be thin. She said that. Oh. But I think it's just healthy to be th- not overweight. You know, no comment. I'm going to say something to get myself cancelled oh now. What am I going to say? What else are you going to say <laughs> to get yourself cancelled? I've fallen victim to TikTok a little bit. People have come after me quite a bit on TikTok. Really? Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of good, funny content and original content on there. I, I really do enjoy it. YouTube Shorts is fun. but then I some... love YouTube Shorts. Do you do? Yeah, I love it. That's but my favourite. But then I get on some weird algorithms. I love there. YouTube Shorts. It gets me more than TikTok, I feel like. Really? Yeah. What's your algorithm like? My algorithm on YouTube Shorts. Yeah. A lot of Jordan Peterson. <laughs> a lot of Jordan Peterson. But I like him. I watch his stuff. So I get I get served Jordan Peterson. Um, How come he cries so much? That's what I want to know. I think he might be losing the plot a little okay. bit. Okay. But I like him. He's passionate. So y'all have a lot in common. Yeah, exactly. That's Kanye. A, I get no, a lot well, of Kanye. A lot just, of Kanye. But let me just say that that's a joke because I'm going to get comments going like, How dare you say that? But like... You know that I was just kidding right there, right? Yeah. Okay, I so can we kidding. calm down? Um, I get Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Kanye. That's troubling. I think I get a lot of Kanye because I watch a lot of hip-hop documentary, a lot of hip-hop podcasts. I got into hip-hop co- podcasts recently. Drunk Champs. Have you seen that one? No. It's but if really I say good. Kanye West, what's the first adjective or word that comes to mind when I say Kanye West? Genius. Not, not crazy. No. All right, Phil Spector. Genius. Oh, God. He killed someone. I know, but he's still he a genius. He literally murdered someone. Yeah, he murdered someone. That's bad. Elon Musk. Genius. Okay. A super genius. <laughs> <laughs> Who sends people to space and brings them back, created electric cars, bores tunnels under Los Angeles, and invented PayPal. He, he didn't did. create electric cars. He just was the head of that company. He took an electric car that wasn't that cost effective and no one liked and didn't work and made the incredible cars that we both have now. All right. You can't be anti Elon Musk if you drive a Tesla. I'm not actually anti. It's just funny to me that you... Well, I suppose you're optimistic. You look at the good in people. I do. I don't like to think about that. Well, I don't see what Elon Musk has done wrong. I really don't. What's he done wrong? I actually don't know. I don't don't know. know. I know he's very controversial, but like, ask me anything that's going on in the world. I don't actually know. I'm very disconnected. I kind of live in a little bubble. Um, I don't really watch the news. Maybe I Mm. should start. I mean, it was bad. Obviously, being anti-Semitic is completely inexcusable, but I wonder if he's in his right mind. Yeah, if you might be having an episode. It's mental illness, isn't it? Yeah. But then you, Have you seen that say, TikTok? It's mental illness, isn't it? No. <laughs> I haven't. It's just a sound on TikTok of a woman going, it's mental illness, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then now people use that sound. They'll like say something crazy they've done like and it'll it. just be the sound going, it's mental illness, isn't it? <laughs> Your English accent's got worse. Okay. Since we I up. mean. It has. I've really noticed it. Like I do it all the time. Every last two podcasts you've done it, and both <gasps> times I've gone. Well, well the, it's mental illness, isn't it? That's it's, terrible. But it's supposed to be. No, because the woman that says it originally is probably English. Maybe. Yeah. It's mental illness, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, this was awesome, it was and good. it wasn't that awkward. I, it wasn't. We tried the first round, and there were tears, so we cut that yeah. one. Because it was supposed to just be about promoting Steven's genius new music project. But then right when we started, we got into this like mini argument and I started crying. It wasn't an argument. I felt you were so happy and I thought you were happy to be splitting up from me. And I've said, I'm happy for you. I wish I was there. That's It wasn't an argument. I was happy because I just finished doing your meditation. Well, that's good. That's better, in fact, even. Isn't it even better? Yes. 
wouldn't it suck if I came over fucking pissed and <laughs> yeah. devastated and you were like, what's wrong? And I was like, I just finished your fucking stupid <laughs> meditation. <laughs> and I feel terrible. Oh, my plan. What? I'm going to take this live. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm putting the pieces together now. Oh, hell yeah. That's going to be so powerful in a room. A dun, 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 yes, because you'll have left, right. Yeah. We're going to start it really small. I might even start with 20 people, 50. Where should I do it? What part of the country? Yeah, where should he tour? Yeah. Comment in the comments. Where should I start? Where should I do my first one? And where should he end? I've got to end it in LA. Got to, I feel like LA is not the place to start. I want to go to interesting places, other places. But you see. can test it out here so you don't have to travel anywhere. Yeah, but I feel like this is good for everyone. It's not just good for woo-woo LA people that like anything. That they like anything spiritual, but like... This is a technology that works for normal people. That's what I really yeah. want to make the point of. Yeah. Anyone could get. I was in jail and the guys got something out of binaural beats. Oh my God. I just shot a video that I'm releasing tomorrow, which explains that. And people may think I'm crazy, but I just told them what happened. I just told them what happened. They can make a decision. And what happened? You should watch my video from yesterday and find out. All right. I told you about it already. Yeah, you did. Yeah. The Bloods and the Crypt. Yeah, yeah. I'm friends with them now. Oh my God. We're all mates. That's not. Fist bumped them. No, that's see not. you later, bro. See you later, bro. Bro, what did you used to say? I tipped a what? I tipped a 40 to the curb for all my dead homies. I didn't say that in jail, didn't say that. I'm glad you didn't. Thought about it. I'm really glad you held back there. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, I'm gonna link Steven's Theta Theta Wave Meditation, Theta Wave Meditation in the comments. Go give it a listen, you will not regret it. And he's got many more to come. Yes. So thank got, you for tuning in. Yeah. I forgot to say to subscribe to my YouTube and hit the like button. I forgot to say that at the beginning, but that's okay. Yeah. Anything you want to end with? Only that I really want people, anyone to try this. Anyone that even hates things like this should at least try it. If you hate the idea of it, try it. Try it and then hate it if you like afterwards, but you won't hate it. If the idea of this makes you want, you want to vomit. Yeah try it definitely try it yeah and make sure to listen on headphones oh yeah on headphones yeah if it makes you physically sick to think about yeah do it do it okay bye bye